All right, guys, let us get ready. I'm going to be doing my makeup first, and then I'll do my hair. I have this bonnet. I got it from, was it Discam? Yes, I got it from Discam. And of course, the doggies want to bark when I want to film. Yeah, so I just small just did braids for me to sleep in, obviously, because if you have ever. You can't just sleep like that. You need to braid your hair. Put it in a bonnet and then you can sleep. And I washed it. So right now, I think I should probably put oil. Then I'm going to put it back in my bonnet. Here it is. Oh. I'm going to oil my scalp. And then we will put the bonnet back on. I hope you've been doing well, guys. It's been quite a busy week for me. What's today? Thursday. So, I've been filming. I've been doing a lot of different things. Actually, on Monday, I'm lying. On Monday, it was raining. So, I didn't go anywhere. On Tuesday, it was very cold, so I didn't go anywhere. So, yesterday, I started filming and we went to town and here i am again filming another video so right here i'm using the uh rs argan oil i had a different argan oil it was thicker than this one this one is a little bit watery but it's argan oil so and that's the only really best oil for my hair it makes it grow it makes it nice and moisturized so i love me an argan oil and my hair is wet i washed it in the in the braids because so it won't get tangled it's still a little bit wet so after I've owned my scalp, I'm going to put my bonnet back on so that it just sits and marinates <laughs> afterwards. Afterwards, I'm going to put this milk and honey. Milk and Honey uh, Leave-In Conditioner by Native Child. Love Native Child. This is the second bottle I've gotten of this. I also have, well, my mom has their hair oil and the shea butter too. It's proudly South African brand, so that's lovely. Let's start off with our... Polish going in, of course, with our fighter Yardley London Stay Fast Foundation, which it claims to have 24 hours stay. I never want to make up that long, but I love it anyway. I'm just going to take one pump. Oh, and just a new thing I started yesterday. Apply my foundation with a brush actually makes it way smoother and way more flawless. Especially on the places where I have dark marks from pimples. Can anyone suggest anything for hyperpigmentation, an oil, a serum, anything? Comment below. So far, I've just been using like bio oil. I've been using a mixture of oils like coconut oil mixed with olive oil mixed with almond oil. And they haven't really worked for me lemon essential oil 
it was good for lightening the dark marks when I got pimples but here yeah, very stubborn so I want something that's going to be gentle yet effective oh the lighting is terrible I guess I've just put my mirror this side now in my camera this side um yeah if you have any suggestions for me about the zillow clicks videos please comment below if you want to be my mirror it lights up so i'm just gonna use the light <laughs> So funny because I didn't know that I used to put foundation then color corrector and I actually discovered that from one of my old videos so that's what I'm doing now and it's actually better because if I put color corrector first it's not as seamless and I will use way less because it's my beauty blender but here it is I was using it yesterday I will just pat it in Color corrector has saved my life, okay? Because <laughs> I used to put so much foundation in this area and then I have to put concealer. And it was just not cute. So this way, your skin is flawless at the end. Okay, guys. I'm going to try and speak in a soft spoken because. You see a light down is usually talking so loudly. So I'm gonna do a soft spoken whisper. Okay. Um, here's my little palette. I'm gonna put our LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn. And that's gonna go to highlight my face. Just getting ready to film my Zoom Clicks videos. Okay, it's on now. I'm done with my powder. I'm gonna put on now this powder, compact. Uh, it's Yardley as well. It's the Yardley Stay Fast Press Powder in the shade Walnut. The brush I'm gonna use is a nice big fluffy brush, just all over my face to set, and then we can highlight, contour, and do the eyebrows. This powder is nice smoothing powder. Goes perfectly with my foundation. Um yeah. Okay, I'm finished. And I'm liking 
I'm liking how it's looking. Uh, I haven't had breakfast, so my stomach is growling. two days or yesterday and today I'm enjoying <laughs> thinner brows my mom always says my brows are so big so I'm trying to go back to the thinner brow look I'm loving it I think before before this essence pen I used to use a pencil but I prefer the retractable now because I just find it easier to use Like putting it on the top, uh, yeah. Wow, my stomach is growling up there. Sounds really weird. There we go. Let's just put it on the shop. And let's get our brush. I've been loving these new brushes. I've got them. off the excess and then you'll just put it on your the back of your hand. So the sun keeps coming and it's appearing in your hand.
how trusted Scarlet Hill. I showed a palette that I got for one hundred and forty-nine ninety-nine. Very very affordable. I am going to highlight my brow bone, and then we will do some. Oh, there it is. See brown bone. I'll go with this champagne color right here. With this fluffy brush. shadow that I'm going to use as a highlight today. So right here let's do my nose. Right here. So. Oh. Guys, like a red and a brown don't mind that spiral over the lid as well as I right there. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's just pause. I've decided not to call it.
done and put my hair and a lot of shrinkage welcome to 
natural hair yesterday because my hair was obviously dry and today i washed it and i have leave-in conditioner so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna let it air dry embrace the shrinkage and i'm just gonna go out like this okay thanks for watching my f oh gosh my